Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the menu builder in the Voyager admin. So we did talk about the admin menu is being used or being built out from the menu builder. So if we go to the builder button right here, we can see all the menu items that we have over here on the left. So let's say that maybe we wanted to create a new menu and we could just give the same name of main. So this is going to be the main menu for our website. So we create that menu and then we can go here to edit the name, delete it, or we can go into the builder to start adding some menu items. So once I go in there, I can then say new menu item and maybe I want this to just be the home page, and I want this to be a static URL and I'm just going to give this a URL of slash which is going to go to my home page. I can then use a font icon if I would like and this is optional. Maybe sometimes in a menu you'd like to use an icon and in that case you can then click on the font icons and it will take us here to show you the different font icons that you could possibly use for the Voyager admin. So then if I go back here I can then also choose a color and this is optional as well. And then I can say if I want this to open in the same window or a new window, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on update. So I have that new menu item, then I'm gonna create another one. And let's just call this categories, and we'll go ahead and make this go to category. And I could also specify a dynamic route if I wanted to. So if I wanted to specify a dynamic route, this could be a route that was built inside of Voyager. So it could be voyager.pages, Dot index and this is just a dynamic route that you would create with Laravel you can then pass it some additional parameters if you would like but I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this as a static URL and I'll just call that maybe we'll just say categories but it's actually not going to link anywhere and then I'm gonna click on update and let's add a few more categories so I'm just gonna call this category one this is gonna be very boring category dash one but I just want to create these just to show you the functionality. So then I could actually drag this over and I could nest this item inside of the categories menu. So I could say that I want this to be a child of the categories main menu. So let's add another one. We'll call this category two. And we'll create that one as well. And I want to place that under the main categories as well. And I will do one more, and I'm just going to call this contact. And then I'll click on update. And now I have my menu right here. So as you can see inside of my application, I could print out this menu just by saying menu main. So let me go ahead and show you an example of this. So let me go into my resources views, and we just have our welcome page right here, which just shows the default welcome page for Laravel. So let's just remove all this and let's go ahead and just try and echo this out. So let's say that we want the menu and I'm going to say that we want to be able to allow HTML to be output. So I'm going to say that I want to display the menu that has a name of main. So let me save that and let's go back to our voyager.dev. And now you can see that we have home, categories, category one, category two. So you can specify if you want this to possibly be a bootstrap. If you're using bootstrap, you can actually add this template and it will create that template for you. But we don't have bootstrap included in here. So you can see that it actually does not stylize it that way. But let's go ahead and look for bootstrap CDN. And let's just use CDNJS right here. And let's look for version three. And we'll go ahead and include the bootstrap min.css and add this right here. So now let's take a look at this menu. So if I were to reload that, now you can see that we actually get the menu. And if we click on that, it's actually not going to go anywhere. And you can specify some hover events if you want so that we can show the menu items underneath the categories. But we have not set up any of these routes to go anywhere, so that's why it is actually not going to work if we click on any of those menu items. So make sure to check out the documentation to figure out how to use all the different settings for the menu builder and even how to create your own menu template. So I hope you can just see the power of this just by creating a menu in Voyager, and then you can just simply echo it out on the front end and you will have your menu on your website.